Ah and so too will this chaos pass. Time will heal all wounds and time will reveal the true nature of your beingness. You are on the cusp of a huge transformation both personally and globally. We applaud your courage and the warrior spirit you have when confronted with your fears and believed limitations. We ask only that you stay true to yourselves and that you live life in the light. Bring light into your lives and find your path to oneness. Many of you are going through a time of upheaval and of uneasiness and many are trying desperately to find reasons and to apportion blame. The only reason is that you have created a time when the veils can to be lifted and for you to remember who you are and why you are here at this time. There is no one to blame. Be aware of the choices you make at this time because you are now in the process of creating your future, a future that doesn't exist yet, but in time will become your reality. Be careful of what you wish for as your wishes shall become your world and your reality. Look at your life closely, accept the mistakes as lessons, forgive yourself and those that you have perceived to have hurt or harmed you. Those hurts were all part of your life plan to get you to the stage that you are in now. Without those hurts you would not have learned, without those hurts you would not be who you are today. And you are a wondrous beautiful being and part of God. Do not judge yourself too harshly as this is like judging God. Remember that you are made in God's image and to judge that image is to go against your true self, your higher self and God. To judge can only bring anger, resentment and fear. This is not the way of light. Ask for help. Whether it be from the angels, from your friends or from your family. It is vitally important now to create a global community of sharing, love, acceptance and honesty. It is your responsibility to help and to heal all those that need your love and your acceptance. In order for this to happen you need to see yourself clearly. And once again I talk about self-love, unconditional love. How do we, the higher regions, help you to see this if you don't ask us for help? We surround you, we guide you and we love you unconditionally. But there is so little that we can do unless you ask. This life is not meant to be experienced as a burden, this life is meant to be enjoyed and cherished. We can help you, but again only if asked. Remember your connection to us, remember the agreement, remember to listen, to be aware, to be awake. Now is the time to learn trust, trust of yourself. Once this has been remembered your connection to us will strengthen and you will not feel so alone and so lost. We can help you to find joy. To find love in yourselves as well as in others, we will help you in any way that is needed. Once you have found your connection to us you will begin to feel and experience the deep peace of unconditional love. Remember that we are part of you just as you are part of each other, the connection between us lies in the link that we all have with God. We are all parts of God, little lights sent out into the night to experience and to report back. What will your report hold? Will it hold all the negative experiences and negative emotions that you think you experience or will it hold the love and joy that you have experienced? Once you start to live your life from a place of joy and love your experiences will be joyful and loving. The hard lessons that you think you need to experience in order to move forward are a figment of your reality. These hard lessons do not exist except to help create fear. And do not forget that fear is the opposite of love. You cannot experience love out of a fear-based reality. And this is a reality that you have created. Now is the time to turn the tables on this fear and to change it into love. Love yourself and it will be so much easier to see love and to experience love in every aspect of your life. You need to remember that the reality that you live in was created by you and you have the ability to change that reality at any time. All it takes is a second of thought. It is that simple. No complex lessons here. One simple statement or affirmation like, I love and accept myself unconditionally can change your reality. Try it and see the love and joy that you will experience. Leave behind the fear and mistrust.